Did someone call for a surgeon? Thank goodness you're here. I think it's his heart. Humans utilize a muscular pump called the heart to move fluids around the body through a network of interconnected pipes called blood vessels. These are the arteries and veins of the circulatory system. Yes, that's what I said. I think it is his heart. Nurse, did I ever tell you my real calling is to be a tree surgeon, but I filled in the wrong form on career day at school and here I'm a medical doctor. Yes doctor, that's nice but what about the patient? If our patient was a plant he would use two very different systems to move fluids around his body. One is a tissue called the xylem that transports water exclusively from the root to the leaves. Water is drawn up in the xylem vessels by evaporation of water from the leaf surfaces. The xylem vessels are under tremendous negative pressure, or suction, but are so strong that they can transport water from the roots to the apex of trees as tall as 300 feet, distances that would be impossible to sustain by a muscular pump such as the heart. What about fixing the patient's muscular heart to pump? Oh, say about 6 feet. As with the pressurized system of blood vessels in the human body, plants also have a pressurized transport tissue called the phloem. The phloem moves compounds such as sugars from their site of production, such as a leaf, to their site of usage, such as a developing fruit, or growing root. This is called a source to sink relationship. You have to be kidding. The movement of liquid in the phloem is driven by increased water pressure in the phloem cells at the source and reduced water pressure in those at the sink. This pressure is not produced by muscular contraction as in humans, but by fluxes of water at a cellular level driven by the movement of dissolved substances such as the sugar sucrose. Doctor. And that is how it works. You are serious aren't you? It is simple. You know, maybe you should think about that career change after all. <laughs>